All right, this is One Last Midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Valheim. So in today's episode, we're going to look at the roadmap for 2021. Now, just after Valheim released, they also released the roadmap going over several items that they would be doing throughout the year. And because there are four items in the roadmap, it looks like they're going to try to do these quarterly. Now they are just a five man team and uh, they've sold over three million copies as of the date of this video. And they're frantically working on defects from a interview that was given to PC Gamer. But they're ambitiously looking at putting out four updates to the early access within this year. The first update labeled Hearth and Home. Uh, based off of Henrik, who is the co-founder of Iron Gate, is, uh, as the name suggests, he says, it's going to be focused on house building aspects of the game and with more pieces and more stuff to do in and around your house. And he said that there would also probably be some focus on food preparation aspects of the game as well. The Cult of the Wolf update is going to be focused on exploration and combat. And he said, hopefully with some uh, new fun and different encounters for players to experience. I'm, I'm looking forward to new encounters. I'm looking forward to new experiences and hopefully some variation on exploration. I would definitely like to see a bunch more variation on some of the burial crypts and or castle ruins that you find throughout the game. After Cult of the Wolf, they're going to focus on ships and seas, and that's exactly what the update is going to be about. It's going to be about fleshing out the ocean biome a bit. And so currently right now, the ocean biome really only has sea serpents and the giant turtle or the titan, whatever it's called. But ships and seas will focus on fleshing out the ocean since it's not quite populated like other biomes are. I, I would like to see a big giant boss battle in the ocean since it seems that most of the other biomes have a boss related to it. Finally, in update four, they're going to add a new biome called Mistlands. Now, this is a little bit misleading because there already is a biome called Mistlands. There just happens to be nothing in it. It's a place where there are large trees filled with spider webs. And if you wander around in there, you can actually see giant skeleton heads as well. So update four is going to be focused solely on Mistlands and probably putting some monsters in there and stuff related uh, to exploring that area. There's a section in the image that says if Odin wills it and if they get all the other updates done or maybe if these are things that they can do inside of their planned updates. Uh, these are some additional items that they're looking at. Multiplayer interactions, not too sure what that's related to because currently right now there are emotes that you can perform with multiplayer. So I don't know if they're thinking about a trading system or what they're thinking about. They really do need to work on their multiplayer as a whole because uh, we do have a server and while it works just fine with about five people on there, once you get more we haven't figured out what the number is, but it seems like six or above. Uh, then the multiplayer is uh, really not that great of an experience because of um, I don't know why, but it has to be communication, sending packets back and forth or something. It doesn't seem to be very optimal. And when you get more people on, it's uh, rather problematic. Another thing on this list, if they have time to do it, is combat improvements. I'm, again, I'm not too sure what this is referring to. The combat seems to be pretty solid in the game, but if they're thinking maybe different animations or uh, maybe additional attack styles or something like that, uh, that would be a nice improvement. Moon phases. I don't know how to feel about moon phases. Currently, right now, the game, even with the full moon, is pretty dark. So if they start putting in phases of the moon and... Uh, reducing the limited vision at night, I think it's going to be pretty difficult to, to play in the dark. Uh, imagine a new moon phase where it's completely black uh, would be really, really challenging to play in. This idea of tar pits uh, is pretty interesting. I kind of like the concept of that. Uh, I'd like to see some sort of tar pit monster. I don't know if that falls into the Viking lore at all. But an idea of uh, some sort of endless pit or a uh, pit of death would be kind of neat to have. And another environmental thing that would cause you to pay more attention to where you're going as you're exploring. 
Another item on their hopeful list is vendor inventory expansion. I think since they're saying vendor inventory expansion, uh, maybe they're thinking about some more trinkets or at least some more items that are unique to the vendor. The vendor really only has about five or six items that you can purchase. Uh, not very useful. I mean, well, to take that back, the items in the, the vendor sells are very useful, uh, but there's not very many of them. Uh, so when they say vendor inventory expansion, I, I'm just wondering how far they're going to push uh, trinkets out. Uh, because currently right now, you know, once you buy everything from the vendor, there's really no use for the coins that are in the game. They're going to add in Swaltavar Brigands. Now, <laughs> I had to look up the pronunciation of that. The word is from Old Norse, and it happens to mean Dark Elf. And so that's kind of interesting, this whole idea of adding in Dark Elves to the game. That is part of uh, the Nordic tradition, and I don't have any idea where they would put them or what biome they would put them in. Mistlands almost seems appropriate, but that's yet to be seen how and what they're going to implement with this, even if they do get to it at all. What would be really nice is they already have a dwarf in the game. He is the vendor. I would like to see an entire dwarf related realm inside of Valheim. More unique locations is also on the list, though they did say in their PC Gamer interview that, you know, more interesting locations and stuff to do during exploration is going to happen in uh, update two or update three. So when they say more unique locations, I'm not too sure what they're talking about outside of what they're already thinking for update two or three. Uh, and even four when they're talking about expanding out Mistlands. So I, I'm looking forward to seeing what they're thinking about this and any other future uh, additions that they can add to an already cool adventuring experience. Sandbox mode will be introduced, hopefully, sometime. I mean, these, this is on the wish list, but it would be nice to have a sandbox mode. Currently, you can do something similar to a sandbox mode. If you do console command, uh, you can go into debug mode and actually allow you to do a cost-free building. So if you want to explore building and decorating without having to get the resources for it, you can easily do that by going into that debug mode. And then finally on this list is Munyan. Munyan is one of the two ravens of Odin. The Ravens of Odin would travel out, gather information for Odin and or deliver messages for Odin and then report back to him. The other Raven's name is Huyin, and I think he's the Raven that drops you off in the beginning of the game. In the intro, he flies you in, but I'm not quite sure. In Heinrich's interview with PC Gamer, he talked a little bit about the end game and the finished concept of Valheim. He said, in the finished version of the game, there will be nine biomes with nine bosses. And we're also exploring adding mini bosses and stuff like that. So, yeah, there'll be more bosses to come. <laughs> That's a direct quote. Currently in Valheim, there are five biomes. There are the meadows. There's the dark forest. The ocean. The swamps. And the plains. If you add in the Mistlands in Update 4, that only puts you at 6, so you're missing three biomes that are going to be explored in future updates that aren't even listed on this current roadmap. I have no idea how long it'll take them to complete Valheim. They have been working on it for a few years now. If you go back and you look at their Twitter and you go back and look at the Steam information, but with selling 3 million copies, I'm sure Iron Gate can turn around and hire some more developers. Don't know if they will or if they'll just continue with their main team. But uh, they definitely have the money for expansion if they go that route. So who knows how fast we'll see updates come out and or how quick it will be for them to finish the game. In other news, a few days ago, just as the posting of this video, there was an update for 0.145.6, which changed a few features inside of Valheim. Uh, big changes that include, there was an update to the Unity engine. There was also some fixes to the Forest Crypts, as well as a change to the save game system. I, I have to tell you though, the save game system right now, I think they kind of messed it up. Uh, beforehand, I, I barely noticed the save game 
Now, when it saves the game, there's uh, a little bit of a delay that happens uh, when you see that icon appear, it kind of uh, stutters a little bit. There was also a fix to uh, the pickable sinks. Uh, sometimes they were out of sync. And also there was a fix for the dedicated server CPU usage. They added a new functionality when joining dedicated servers, which allows you to join via IP directly. Unfortunately, they did not flush that out. I would have liked to have seen that interface be not only the IP address, but the password on the same dialogue, and then also an ability to save it to a favorites list so you never have to type it in again. There was also a couple other handful fixes in there that were pretty interesting, and the list is on the screen so you could just read through them yourselves. All right, well, that's it for me and Valheim News. I will definitely have news updates as they come out for Valheim. I'm kind of addicted to the game. It's really, really fun. Well, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'd love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below and make sure to hit that notification bell. That way, you know when I go live and when I post new videos. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.